nyakubaha president wa republika nchuti z'u Rwanda abanyarwanda abanyarwanda kazi duteraniye hano banje kongera kubasuhuza nabifuriza kumererwa neza muri uyu mugoroba nyakubaha president wa republika i have to complain slightly about uh, the categories presented by the mc na kunu abagore burwanda tutaza muri category so abagore please stand murakoze murakoze cyane abagabo nabo turabakunda ariko iri ya category yari kenewe cyane Mr President we are very grateful to you We have had the honor to listen to you in this very special forum called Rwanda Day. We started calling it Rwanda Day in Chicago. Before that, we had had a gathering in Europe, uh, precisely in Brussels in December 2010. But from 2010, we realized quickly that we had to find a name that we had to evolve the event. And today, in 2014, in this beautiful city of Atlanta, this is our sixth edition of Rwanda Day. We are thanking you very, very much, Mr. President. Rwanda Day started as a meeting of Rwandan communities abroad with the president and with themselves, as well as with friends of Rwanda, to do two things. One was to celebrate the transformation of our country. The other was to continue reflecting together on where we are and where we want to go as a nation. Today, I am very proud to see that Rwanda Day has moved from being an event and a day to being a very unique experience. We have in this room Rwandans who live in the United States, Rwandans who live in Canada, Rwandans who live in Europe, in Asia. We have friends of Rwanda from all over the world from Turkey, from Angola, from our own East African region, and many, many more places. And so we're grateful to you, Mr. President, that uh, Rwanda Day is becoming a gathering where we share our common values. And we're delighted to be in Atlanta sharing the value of agachiro, dignity, with the people of Atlanta, with the African-American community, with so many friends of Rwanda and so many Rwandans that have gathered here. Uh, and by the way, uh, Mr. President, uh, when I left Kigali two days ago, um, I was uh, confronted by people who were very upset that uh, they weren't uh, all able to accompany their president to Atlanta. In fact, they thought I was the visa officer at the United States Embassy. And so Rwanda Day is really becoming both a national domestic value fest as well as an international event. So we are very happy to be here this afternoon. Um, Mr. President, what's been happening since yesterday is a mixture of business and pleasure. We had a very successful business forum here yesterday with many business people from Rwanda and from the United States. 
We had uh, this morning a very good exchange on youth and youth employment. We talked about um, entrepreneurship. We talked about connecting people. We talked about small and medium-sized enterprises. And then uh, just before you came in, uh, the session we had, uh, Mr. President, was on dignity, global dignity. The value that we share as human beings, a value that is very dear to Rwandans. And uh, out of that panel, we had multiple definitions of the word dignity. So I'm sure most people in this room at some point would want to have your own definition of dignity. Some people said it was jobs. Some people said it was respect. Some people said it was self-respect, um, and, and on and on. So uh, that panel that uh, just ended was really the connection between uh, Kigali and, and Atlanta, between Rwanda and the United States, over this shared value of Agachiro. Thirdly, Mr. President, we've been trying to canvas this gathering here and understand really what's on their mind and what they would want to see come out of this uh, very important gathering. And basically, what we got out of it is that people were very eager to listen to you. They wanted to hear you this afternoon. They wanted to share um, in your usual amazing statements on Rwanda Day. But uh, people also wanted to mingle and, and get together. We have uh, set up a special desk for very specific questions about specific uh, issues pertaining to individuals. That desk, as it's been uh, said, is um, uh, outside this room. Uh, for those who have very private, personal, particular issues that we uh, from Rwanda will be very happy to um, look at and try as much as possible to find uh, solutions. I wanted to mention that uh, when we uh, finish this part of this discussion, we have a very special evening where we will share a meal with everybody in the spirit of thanksgiving because we are truly, as a nation, very thankful. It is also a value that we share with the people of the United States. Our Thanksgiving is called Umuganura, which is exactly the same thing as Thanksgiving in the United States, where we are thankful for the harvest. We are thankful for having food on the table. And Mr. President, you are a big part of why Rwandans today have food on their table. I will not uh, any longer stand in between your statement, Mr. President, and this gathering here. I wanted once more to say that we are very, very grateful to you. Thank you very much.